What's going on everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again. More COD World War II action. And in this video we're going to be covering where every single all 33 of the memento locations are. And that is going to help you complete the Pieces of History achievement which is the achievement for collecting all 33 of them. Uh, so as in uh, previous guides that we've done before with uh, you know some other different games, what we're going to do here is we're going to do just a quick intro screen which you're showing which will outline the mission. I will tag uh, down below in the description where each one of them starts so if you need a specific mission feel free to check that out uh, to the timestamp and we'll jump over and then beyond that we'll just jump right into this gameplay I'll try to give a decent little summary of where it is what you're looking for and uh, we'll get you going as far as finding all the different mementos so this is D-Day this is the first one uh, mine actually desynced, uh, so you're going to see this pop up as number four for me. Uh, but this first one's right here after the at the very end of the trenches that you have to clear. You have to kill a couple enemies. Um, you can move back up to the right, but if you don't, you'll come over. You'll grab the nice knife, and this will be your first, even though it says four, your first of 33 mementos found. The second one for D-Day is going to be located as, after you clear out this uh, bunker. It uh, allows you to pick up the flamethrower there. Then you're going to be able to pick it up. Um, you're actually going to be able to uh, you know, clear that out. As you come back through here, you're going to have to kill these enemies. Um, once you do that, that's actually going to initiate an area, a door, uh, that is going to open for you. Um, that you originally couldn't go to. So you'll see these two guys right here that are kind of blocking the path. You'll actually head back from the way that you came and uh, originally when you walked by this, this door was not open. You could not get into it, but once you clear that bunker uh, using that flamethrower, you'll come up and you'll find uh, the second, even though it says six, the second of 33 mementos. And then the last one for D-Day is going to be as you clear out this little farm area, you'll have to take out those machine gunners up top. Um, once you do that, it'll actually be to your left in this little barn location right here. Um, do recommend clearing these out, but if you do just need to grab these real quick, uh, feel free to go in and do that. Um, I ran over here, but it's actually on the opposite side of this little barn. And you'll see it right here, and you grab that, and that will be your third of 33 mementos and all three for D-Day. So at this point we'll jump into Operation Cobra which is the second mission. Again there are three in each of these uh, so we'll, we'll detail uh, numbers four, five, and six as we move through this. So right from the start in Operation Cobra you're just gonna move over, head to your right here, walk past by these guys and sit right there right behind that guy, a lighter and again this should be the fourth of 33 mementos that you found. So the second one for this mission is going to be after you clear out, you're getting real close to the anti-aircraft gun at this point. Before you jump in uh, to this area, you get those guys to retreat. Um, you can move to the right. You have pretty free reign in here. Um, just instead move to the left. You don't have to walk on the cart like I did. Uh, move to the left. There's this little house right here. You'll walk right in and boom, right there on the table. Uh, looks like a little pocket watch. Uh, it's important to note with all of these that you can pick these up in any order and you can pick them up in multiple playthroughs. Like I said, for whatever reason, it desynced for me when I played through it the first time. I actually beat D-Day, was into this mission, started collecting them again and realized that I didn't get credit for the ones before. Uh, so this will be your fifth of 33 mementos and the second uh, for the second mission. And the last uh, one for the second mission here is you can maneuver your way, uh, and I actually cleared this out, but um, you'll come up to a point where you have to get behind a tank. You'll have to follow the tank uh, until it clears the enemies out, and you'll have to help them. Uh, you'll actually come into this bunker right here, and right jabbed into that dude's neck is the third uh, memento for this mission and the sixth overall. So just hang to the right, uh, roll up that side, and you shouldn't have no problem walking right into that. And that will finish out these ones for this mission. So we'll hop into mission three, Stronghold. We had three more mementos in this one. These not too terribly difficult to find, um, but some of them are a little bit tricky and easily uh, can be easily passed by. So uh, the first one here, you're going to come into that courtyard area. You'll actually be able to clear this house out, um, and then you'll be told to kind of push across the street. Uh, right before the half track comes in. I think you can do this after the half track. In order to get this one, you're going to go to the top floor of this. 
uh, room right here, this building, and you're going to come all the way to the right hand side, and then you're just going to have to kind of tightrope walk uh, right along there, and you should find that medallion hanging on that mirror. And again, to give you an idea, that's where we're ending up. Now, you've come into the church, the flamethrowers have been aflaming. You're going to be able to do all that. You're going to have to take those guys out, uh, shoot all these dudes uh, by all means. Once you kind of clear this area out here, um, you're going to be able to move forward. You can actually move forward pretty quickly in this. You don't even have to wait for the flamethrower to trigger if you just need to grab these. Um, but you'll come up, you'll just kind of hang to the right. Uh, you're going to hop down right here over this step, and it's just sitting right behind you uh, inside this uh, this little nook right here. And you'll pick, pick that up and get uh, the second memento for mission three. All right, and then the last and third one uh, for this mission, for mission three, is going to be right as you come out, right after the bell tower collapses, uh, there's that big uh, flamethrower tank really sitting right there. Definitely recommend grabbing that before the real assault starts. Uh, but as you saw, you literally just walk forward. It's sitting on the ground. You might have to crouch, and you can grab that one up. Uh, so as we get into mission four, SOE, uh, another three mementos for this one. Uh, and as we come through, this is one of the missions again, pretty easily to pretty easy to miss, especially if you're trying to do some of the other achievements, which I was trying to do here, which was to move through this area uh, uh, undisturbed or I guess un unseen. Um, you'll come up to this point uh, here. You'll be coming out. Um, you'll have already cleared out this area. Now you don't would not normally go this way but as soon as you come outside of that door uh, instead of going to the right which is the path that you need to go to the left and inside this little flower pot here uh, is going to be your tenth memento uh, coming through here you're going to pass through a giant courtyard you're going to come into this second house that you'll end up having to walk through uh, I accidentally didn't kill that guy um, at this point I've alerted everybody so I don't recommend trying to grab these uh, but as you come into that room you've kind of seen my path from the front door really you're just going to walk in this door go into the second room and then just look to your left and it will be sitting right there uh, looks like a little dog collar and you'll have your 11th memento and then finally the third one for this mission is going to be uh, really sitting right here so after you come through uh, this area you'll crawl underneath that plane you'll have to clear this area out there'll be some enemies in front of you um, once you do that you'll just walk up and it'll kind of just be tucked away on top of this and you'll get the missile plans uh, from that pretty near uh, the end of this mission actually uh, so we hop into this mission here we'll hop into liberation and uh, we will take the three mementos as we go from here so this is a nice one. These are ones, uh, again, pretty spaced out throughout this mission, but the first one that you're actually going to be able to find is going to be immediately upon entering, uh, really, the mission after the cutscene. You'll talk to the guard. He'll give you the entrance in. You're just going to slowly walk forward. You'll come straight through that lobby area. Uh, you'll hang a right. A good landmark right there is that little stone pattern on the floor. You will come into the bathroom, actually open that up and it should be in the very last stall sitting on the floor and boom it is right there and that will be memento number 13 so here uh, for the second one it's going to be after you uh, complete the sneaking uh, or complete the portion where you've made it through you've seen the cutscene with the guy um, and this is a pretty detailed path to get here hard for me to explain but you'll you'll crouch walk across uh, that little ledge there onto this second balcony uh, you'll come into this room uh, and it's just going to be have to really honestly this one the best way to do it is just to kind of follow along uh, but you'll come up to that point you'll have to take that guy out you'll move across and you will go down the steps here you can wait for these guys to pass as I did again another achievement for sneaking through here without uh, without being seen interestingly enough one of your heroic actions is right here you obviously don't have to do this but this is a good landmark here you can take him out you can free uh, your friend that helped you and once you do that you're actually gonna swing back around you'll head to the left away from where the guards came 
You have to watch for that guy right there. You'll cross over. He will not see you. He actually won't turn around. So you can feel free to pick this lock here. Pick that lock or use the key if you found it earlier. Definitely recommend doing that. If not, you'll pick the lock. You'll come into this building. You'll actually head up these steps. You'll go into the second floor. And you'll come across into this room and this lantern is sitting right here or I think it's a bottle of liquor actually and then the third one so definitely the second one's the most difficult the third one here is going to be after you've completed all of that portion they bust through you'll be moving through the streets clearing these enemies out you'll come to this last kind of fortified position before you get up into the snipers perch uh, to provide overwatch you'll get some vehicles that come in here I definitely recommend just throwing a couple smokes you actually have to run through and sitting on this table right in the middle of the firefight is going to be your 15th memento almost halfway through uh, as you finish out uh, mission number five here. So we'll jump into mission number six, collateral damage. Uh, this is going to be that mission with the tank, uh, which is pretty nice. It does make some of the, uh, the, uh, the mementos in this one are actually pretty close. Uh, mine is this first one so after completing the tank portion you'll hop back out you get into your main character here uh, really you'll just honestly run through this street uh, you'll be uh, tagged with pegging a couple guys here I think you start to receive some fire as soon as you move through these trucks uh, and upon doing so you're just gonna hug the left hand side of the wall and it should be sitting on a piano right about there and there you go right on top of the piano first one for mission six so the second one uh, for this mission is going to be you're going to have cleared out uh, and moving through this house to clear out um, you can be silly like I was and try to jump up here <laughs> or you can just walk through this which I end up getting stuck on which is ridiculous um, <laughs> any which way that you end up making it up uh, so you'll have cleared some areas out uh, this is honestly not too far uh, from the the one you were just at um, honestly this is the best path thing you can take here is to walk up uh, that boarded ramp you'll come over you'll have to do take a slight jump uh, over that hole in the wall and then you'll see sitting right here on top of the mantle right there is going to be the 17th memento and the second for this mission and the last one for this mission is after you uh, make it to the the final, uh, I forget what the building is, uh, it's like a, I wanted to say library, I know it's not a library, but after you push this truck uh, and make it into, I think it's a hotel or whatever, some type of, yeah, hotel, there you go. After you make it into the hotel, you'll blow this, uh, the door open here uh, for yourselves, you're just going to move in tons of enemies in here but all you're gonna have to do honestly is you can shoot your bazooka there but stick to the right hand side walk in uh, back behind this counter and sit in there is going to be the pen and that will finish off the mementos for mission number six so we'll go into death factory mission number seven and we'll get this going and work through these three mementos So here's going to be after you complete the defense for the bridge, you're going to come a little bit of cutscene action, you'll move through, uh, you'll actually move with Turner, you'll get to the point where you have to either sneak through or clear this area out, um, you actually have to clear the area out, um, and then once you do that, uh, I definitely recommend hopping on that MG if you haven't done this mission yet, definitely hop onto the MG. Um, once you do that, You'll actually come up, there's a truck on the right hand side there that you can see right in front of me. Uh, come up to that truck, just kind of swing around it to the left, and right there sitting behind a couple boxes, again, very easy to miss this one, uh, is going to be the pistol, and that will be your 19th memento. The second one for this mission is going to be right as you fall down the cliff, you have a little bit of cutscene, you're going to come into the portion where you start sneaking, um, and you'll actually have to shoot a dog. And then in this plane, on your left hand side, right, is, literally almost right as you come in, uh, you'll see this, I think it's a parachute sitting right there, right inside the cockpit of that plane. And that will finish up memento number 20 for you. 
And the last and final one for this mission is going to be, uh, you're going to be harassed by that sniper. You're going to have to move through a little bit of open area. You're actually going to come in here, uh, crack this door open, take that guy out. Definitely recommend the toggle shotgun for this portion. You move all the way up top to the sniper perch. You'll go ahead, you'll take him out. He's extremely powerful. Uh, you'll go ahead and you'll take him out. And then actually you're going to have to do uh, a little bit of uh, maneuvering here. You'll have to take a quick jump up to this platform on the steps that you came up. And sit right there on this chair is going to be memento number 21. And that will finish out mementos for mission number 7. Hill 493, jumping into mission number 8. And we'll take a look at these three mementos for this mission. So as you come up, you're going to be assaulting Hill uh, you're going to need to get your engineer up to the top so he can blow that uh, hole in the bunker for you. Um, I think this is his second position or maybe his third position here. Um, and you'll uh, you'll just be taking some enemies out. If you just stick with him, uh, you'll at one point be able to hop over, look a little bit to, to your left, uh, and sitting right there with the soldier will be... Uh, the first of the mementos. The second memento here is going to be after you clear out, you're going to come into these trenches, you're going to come to the first AA gun uh, or artillery piece that you need to take out. From that point, sitting right here, you're going to have to kind of bump uh, your teammate out of the way will be your second memento uh, for the mission. And then finally, you're going to have to clear this final area out. This is right, this is the portion with the tank. Um, uh, but before doing so, if you just move through that door uh, and really just stick to the left-hand side of the map, uh, follow the trench all the way through, you'll clear some of the enemies out. And again, just stick to the left-hand side. There's actually going to be a blown-out bunker up on your left, and sitting on the ledge up there uh, is going to be the final uh, memento for this mission. Definitely recommend grabbing this one. Definitely recommend grabbing this one before the tank arrives. Uh, so you'll come up, there's a good landmark right here with this little burning tree um, sitting right there. This will key you into the bunker. There's the bunker right here. You're just going to swing around just to the right a little bit. Uh, right Again, right behind this giant burning pile. So again, good landmark for you to see in the distance because this is up on the hill to the left-hand side. You'll just walk up and boom, right there it is. Memento number three, number 24 total for this mission. So we'll jump into the Battle of the Bulge. Battle of the Bulge, 100% the easiest mission to find all of the mementos in. You can find them immediately from the start, which is extremely nice. So you're going to be set up. After the cutscene, you'll come. You'll have to deliver the ammo box from the very start, which is very, very nice. You're just going to move forward. You see your two guys or three guys sitting there right on your right-hand side. All you're going to do is take a step forward, and you will move towards them. And sitting right to their left is going to be the camera right in the rocks right there. And there you go. Memento number one for Battle of the Bulge. Now, from this spot, again, you can find all three of these, which is really nice. So don't actually go to deliver the ammo. Um, just follow my pathing here. You'll generally head that way, uh, which is really good. I've seen some other uh, guides, uh, but definitely recommend coming up. Uh, as you make your way over there, if you stay right along the trench line, you're going to come up. You're going to see this brown box. You see the guy uh, digging his foxhole right there. And then sitting right inside that box, right next to that med kit, is going to be uh, memento number six, which is a pair of airborne wings. And then you can continue towards your objective, actually go right to it, which is really nice. This one pretty much leads you all the way through all three of these. Uh, you'll walk up, and before you drop off the ammo box, you'll see sitting right next to your teammate right there is going to be the comic book, and that should be memento number 27 and the third for Battle of the Bulge. So jumping into ambush, these ones uh, pretty spread out throughout this mission. Uh, only I would say one of them is probably too, ter too really difficult to find, very, very easy. Uh, because it involves going through a door that you wouldn't normally have to do uh, in a room you wouldn't actually have to go into. But the first one, uh, as we look here, you're going to be moving your way. This is the sneaking portion uh, as you're moving through the camp once you get inside. Uh, you'll come. I just stick to the right-hand side. You'll come up to this guy who's sitting here uh, cleaning his uh, rifle there. And right there sitting on the table is going to be the first memento, memento number 28, for this mission. 
So we'll be moving through here. This is going to be post the sniper portion. Uh, so you've provided the sniper cover, they've blown the doors off, uh, they've assaulted on the inside. You'll be clearing this area out. You'll be getting very, very close actually to uh, the final perch uh, where you'll provide more sniper defense. Uh, and you'll actually have to walk into this room, this red building on your right hand side. I'll give you a couple different looks at it here. So again, this is the way you're coming from. Uh, so again, it'll be on right hand side, red building, and then sitting on this table right here uh, by the store that doesn't open is going to be uh, the second memento and memento 29 for the mission. And then finally, you'll get your objective to provide overwatch for Pearson as soon as you walk into the overwatch spot. Just look to your right, sent right there is going to be your third and final memento for mission 10. And then finally, we've got the Rhine, mission number 11. And this will be the last three of the mementos we have to find for the pieces of history achievement. So the first memento for mission number 11 is going to be uh, in this first tower that you have to clear. Your flamethrower will come in, he'll burn all that stuff out. You'll have to clear all these enemies out. Uh, you'll head up to this second floor right here. You'll head up to the third floor right here. And you'll see this injured soldier uh, laying right there and just sitting to his left it's going to be a canteen and that will be the first uh, memento for this mission and 31 of 33 overall now the second one is going to be after you assault through the full portion of the bridge uh, you'll come up into this second uh, circular castle like structure that you have to clear you'll go ahead you'll make your way not outside but you'll go ahead you'll make your way up the steps you'll have to clear this area out as well and after grabbing some ammo on that first floor that you come up sitting right next to this med kit is going to be this uh, I believe it's a beer stein and your second memento for the mission and then finally, still in this same structure, you'll actually make your way all the way up to the top. You have to still clear out the rest of the enemies, obviously. And once you do so, you'll see that MG sitting right there. And sitting just to the left of it will be your last and final memento, memento number 33. And when you do collect them all, if you've done them in order, or it doesn't matter if you've done them in order, but once you get the last one, you'll get the achievement to pop for you, collecting all three mementos throughout the campaign and that will finish you off for pieces of history achievement guide so hopefully this was helpful for you I want to provide a little bit of dialogue and just kind of talk through some of the different locations um, I had a lot of fun a little bit of difficulty with finding some of these so hopefully this guide is helpful for you guys uh, to zone you in and get you where you need to be if you're having trouble finding any of them again you do not have to do these in order so if you miss one as you're playing through if you just want to run through them on easy and pick them back up uh, you very well can and there's actually very nicely cod provides uh, kind of a little area to look at to see which ones you have and haven't collected and you get a summary screen at the end as well So just keep that in mind, but I've been Doc from Average Gamer guys as always. Thanks for watching Appreciate all the support. Hopefully it was helpful for you And if it was please make sure to subscribe comment and let me know as always. Thanks for watching catch you in the next one